Hey, what's up guys? I just wanted to make a quick video talking about something that's been going through my mind today. And that is basically why some people struggle very badly on a higher carb diet or even a moderately carb diet. And I'm one of those people. And basically when I eat a low carb diet, I have less inflammation and my mood is better and just so many symptoms are better and if you're watching my channel for the first time I have concussions that aren't healing because of certain factors and so by eating low carb I can eliminate a lot of inflammation now I eat a plant-based low carb diet so I think that it's probably one of the healthiest ways to eat a low carb diet but I I don't really know but this is just what I'm doing but the reason why this is the case is because is because my microbiome, my gut bacteria is not balanced. And it is because there is overgrown bacteria, yeast and parasites that are not friendly or that are just opportunistic that when they eat your food, when they ferment your food, so let me take a step back. We have bacteria and yeast and parasites. We have microbes that live within our intestines and on our whole body, but a big portion of it is our intestines. And so for me, this is, this ha this is like the main reason why it happens to people, like why their microbiome gets imbalanced. And that is because of any dose of antibiotics, no matter how old or young you were or however long you're on them, like one dose can just wipe out all your good bacteria. And then this allows all that, that bad bacteria to be ready to just grow out of control. And then you add that to growing up eating like McDonald's and processed foods like every day. For, for me, it was like 20 years of just horrible diet, horrible diet that feeds all this bad stuff. And so for me, like I can turn on and off my symptoms by eating either higher carbs or lower carbs. And that's because of this fermentation by these bacteria and that kind of stuff. And when these bacteria or when the bacteria and stuff ferment or eat and then produce waste, that waste is what causes inflammation and goes throughout your whole body, your joints, your brain. You may get brain fog. You may have achy joints. One big symptom for me, besides my concussions, which is really complicated, but my shoulders can get so just automatically tense. And it's not even like I'm trying to do that, but that is from my microbiome. That is from this small, low-grade inflammation this chronic low grade inflammation that is causing these issues and that is being caused by my microbiome from like the bad stuff that is overgrown fermenting my foods. And so this is one reason why I can, like for me, my mood can be so good and awesome when I'm not feeding that bad bacteria. For instance, if I'm eating a low carb diet, like I've been eating just a bunch of avocados, uh, even if I ate like meat or something like that, I wouldn't get that fermentation. And I get one other thing that happens with this is like I get super bloated. And that happens the more I eat like super hard to digest fibrous foods. It can happen with like beans or pretty much just anything, especially with like prebiotic stuff. But that's more complicated stuff to get into. For the purpose of this video, I just want to bring some awareness to this issue because I know that for me, I was kind of sucked into the high carb, low fat. That's the plant-based diet you should be eating. And in this day and age, our microbiomes are so not natural that eating the natural plant foods that have tons of fiber and carbs, eating that with the microbiomes that we have because of antibiotics and because of McDonald's and processed foods and Oreos and Twinkies and all that stuff, we're going to ferment and have inflammation be, be caused from these healthy carb sources and healthy 
super fibrous sources of food. And so, yeah, I just wanted to bring awareness to this because it's so huge and it affects every aspect of your health, mentally, emotionally, physically. And so please just, if you're having trouble with the high carb diet, you may want to consider um, just learning as much as you can about the microbiome and learning different tools about how to correct this. There's probiotics, there's fermented foods, and there's a lot of a lot of things that you can do. And I'm in the process of healing my gut. And it's a long it can be a long process, but it's super worth it. And during the ups and downs of what I'm going through, I can feel like if I eat something that I know fed that bacteria and I'm feeling awful, I usually know that it's from that or if I'm I get other symptoms because I'm wiping that stuff out that is that bad bacteria that ferments my foods. So it's like this crazy process of eliminating and removing the bad stuff that's overgrown while also bringing in bringing back in the probiotics that were gone from the beginning when you got wiped out by antibiotics or whatever. So I just wanted to make this video to bring some awareness to this issue since in at least the vegan community, which I don't really want to be in that kind of the YouTube thing, but just from a health standpoint and plant-based diet perspective, if you're struggling with a high carb diet and you feel like crap, and one example of this who I remember from a year or two ago with Nick Acado Avocado, he felt so much better eating meat and stuff like that. And I don't know if it's, I could be totally wrong, but I think that the main reason why he felt so much better and had so many more good days and was just calmer and like clearer and stuff like that, I think that that is because his microbiome is jacked up like mine and many people's. And I could be wrong, but I just feel like I needed to put that out there because I just, I see things out here that I know that I experience. I see things in other people that they're experiencing and I know that I experience the same things and I know that there's things that cause these things. And so we can come to crazy conclusions or just not correct conclusions about what food, different foods mean when really instead of instead of it maybe being like, oh, there's something in meat that we need, maybe it's that our microbiomes are jacked up and so by not having any carbs or fiber in that food, we're not fermenting it and getting these nasty chemicals that cause us to be inflamed and depressed and anxious and all these different things. And so, yeah, it's, it's a pretty big topic. It affects me every single second of the day and I hope that you look into it if you're struggling struggling with the high carb diet. I do a high fat diet with sometimes I'll add in some carbs and I mean every day I have some carbs but I just most of my calories are from fat and protein and it's mostly raw foods and I think it works pretty well and there's pros and cons to everything but I don't, I don't want to make this video too long so if you're struggling with high carb Consider messing around with low carb, see if that helps you. And yeah, I hope this video helps. Hope this video brings some light to maybe any issues that you may be having. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave it, leave them in the description. Uh, this is a super important and interesting topic that I would love to talk about in the comments. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. Thanks for watching and peace.